Hey y'all, Lexi Lily here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how I got signed to my agency here in Texas and how you can get signed to one too. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a model and actor in the Texas market and I'm local to Austin, Texas. I've walked Austin Fashion Week, I've done a ton of commercials, lifestyle and fashion shoots for a bunch of different clients and brands like Spec, Delta Hotels, Chickadee, Alvies, and a bunch of other brands. Make sure you stick around for some bonus tips on what to wear and how you should present yourself at a casting. Let's get to it. So you may be wondering what a casting is or you may already know what it is. A casting is when an agency or a client holds auditions for models and actors for them to come and present themselves for this job that they're going for. And this job would be to get booked to the actual agency. So before you can go to a casting, you're obviously going to have to know where the castings are. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to research agencies that are local to you. Local might be different depending upon where you're located. I'm located in Austin, Texas, and there's a ton of agencies here. If you're in LA or New York, obviously a ton of agencies there. But if you're in somewhere a little bit more rural, you're gonna have to do some research. And you don't have to live in the same city as your agency. For example, although there's a ton of really great agencies here in Austin, the first agency I signed with was in Houston, which is where I'm from. And you may be thinking, oh, I can just go to the first agency that I find that's closest to me. Not always a good idea. You're going to have to research to make sure that the agencies that are around you are reputable because that's the number one important factor in choosing a viable agency. There are so many ways for you to determine if an agency is reputable or not. You can look at Yelp reviews, you can look at Google reviews, you can look at Instagram to see if they stay current on their posts. You can even message models tagged in their posts to see how they like their agency. If I see those messages from people, I usually answer them as long as they're not creepy, obviously. Models don't mind helping out other models, especially if it helps keep them safe. There are also a couple of agency review websites and Instagrams out there. For example, there's one Instagram that I recently started following called at models trust, and they tend to review agencies and post a lot of really good information about how to spot fraudulent versus reputable agencies. So now that you've determined that the agency you want to submit yourself to is reputable, you're going to go online to their website to see what they require for your submission. Most agencies typically require that you submit a ton of the same thing. You're going to put in your contact information, you're going to put in your measurements, and you're going to submit your digitals. Now you may be thinking, what are digitals? I am so glad you asked. Digitals are pictures taken of you in your most natural state. So little to no makeup, form-fitting clothing, typically all black, and typically just a tank top and pants or a tank top and shorts. Some require bathing suit pictures, but some don't. It just depends upon the agency. And some agencies even require that you send in a runway walk video of yourself as well. So just make sure you go onto your desired agency's website to see what all they recommend. After you've put in all of your information and you've taken your digital, just upload your digitals and submit your application. Now, depending upon how the agency you submitted yourself to works, they will either do open castings or castings by invite only. And remember, castings are when agencies hold auditions for models and actors to come in, show their skills so the agency can determine whether or not they want to sign that model or actor. If an agency does open castings, you might not even have to have submitted yourself in the first place, but you might still have to RSVP and you're going to have to find out when those open castings are. Agencies will often have one or two castings per week. For example, my agency holds castings on Wednesday evenings and Saturday mornings. And the castings are in about two to three hour blocks. So always arrive at the very beginning of that block of time or even a little bit earlier so you can get seen first because usually that's who they remember the most. So again, just look on their website or their Instagrams and if they have open castings, they'll probably be on there. However, most agencies do their castings by invite only. So you will have to go through that online submission process and get invited to their casting. If you get invited to their casting, congratulations, you're one step closer to becoming a model or actor. Usually if you get invited to a casting, you just receive an email from a booker or someone who works at the agency telling you when the casting is. Although every agency might do their castings a little differently, a lot of them do a lot of the same thing. So I'm gonna tell you what happened in my casting in hopes that it'll prepare you for years. So when I went to my casting, I was not only auditioning to become a model, I was also auditioning for their talent portion of their agency as well. And the talent portion is just the acting portion. So for the model part of the audition, all I had to do was runway walk. And that was runway walk down, do a couple poses at the end, and runway walk back. 
and that's it. So for the acting part of the audition, I had to do a cold read of a commercial because my agency is heavy booking on the commercials. So they want to make sure their talent is commercial booking ready. The cold read was just a little commercial script typed out on a piece of paper that I had to read and deliver. I honestly couldn't tell you what the commercial was for. It was so long ago and I probably blacked out during it anyways, but I don't remember it being too hard or challenging or anything like that. After I did my cold read, I said bye to the bookers and I was off to wait for a couple of weeks to see whether or not they would want to sign me to their roster. It took them about a week and a half to get back to me to let them know that they did want to sign me to their roster. Honestly, I was not surprised. I've been signed with this agency on and off kind of my entire life, so I know them pretty well. But it honestly still was a little nerve wracking because I felt super rusty because I hadn't modeled or acted in like six or seven years or maybe even more. So that's it. That's really all there is to getting signed with an agency. If you don't get called back right away, or if they say that you need more time to develop, go take acting classes, go take modeling classes and refine your skills and then resubmit yourself so you can get invited to that casting because they really only want to sign people who are booking ready at that moment. So if it takes a little time to refine your craft, that's okay. You can do it. As promised, here are my bonus tips on how you should present yourself at a casting. Model castings look a little bit different than actor castings. When I went to my model castings, I wore exactly what I would have worn for my digitals. And I'm pretty sure I wore exactly what I wore in my digitals. And I'm pretty sure it was this pink top. Not these pants though. For model castings, you are going to want to wear all black, form-fitting clothing, whether it's a tank top or a crop top, nothing too scandy, but definitely something that shows off your figure. And you're gonna wanna wear black skinny jeans as well. I know, skinny jeans are out of fashion right now. That's okay, get yourself a pair from Amazon or H&M or something, you'll be fine. Just have a pair of skinny jeans on hand. And you're going to want to wear a black high heel that is not platform, that has a stiletto heel. And a stiletto heel is not a block heel, it's not a wedge heel, it's that thin stiletto heel. Not only do you want to have that for the casting, but you want to have that on hand as a model at all times. So for your hair and makeup, you're going to want to go as natural as possible. My hair is typically curly because it's like wavy naturally. So I typically throw a little extra curl in here and sometimes keep my natural curls in the back just so I look as natural like myself as possible. And you're gonna wanna wear minimal to no makeup. So foundation, maybe a tiny bit of mascara, probably not, and maybe a neutral lip liner or lip, but usually just very, very natural. They want to see what you look like as a blank slate before they put all of the makeup and pretty stuff on you. And then as far as non-physical presentation goes, you're gonna wanna conduct yourself in a business-like manner. So be professional, be punctual, be polite, be kind. Because at the end of the day, you are working for them and you are doing jobs for them. And this is a job, even though it's really fun. <laughs> and then on top of being professional, you're gonna wanna show your personality. They wanna see the authentic you and they want to see you shine. And you are most authentic and most confident when you are being your true self. So let yourself shine. So that is the comprehensive everything that you will need to be successful to get signed to an agency. I hope this was all helpful for you guys. If you enjoyed these tips and they were helpful for you, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be releasing a ton more videos just like this that have tips and tricks for booking consistent jobs in the modeling and acting industry. Also, if you're interested in wedding and bridal, fashion or beauty, make sure you like and subscribe because I'm going to be releasing a ton of videos like that as well. Thank y'all for watching and see you soon. Bye y'all.